As you know, vowels are speech sounds that use pulmonic air, that is, air coming from the lungs. And they involve a less extreme narrowing of the vocal tract than consonants. Normally, in all vowels the velum is raised so that there is a velic closure and air does not flow out through the nose. Such vowels, for example the vowel E, are referred to as oral vowels. However, if the velum is lowered to allow part of the airstream to fill the nasal cavity, vowels may be nasalized, so E becomes E, and the nasal cavity is used as a second resonance chamber. Nasalized vowels must not be confused with nasal consonants such as AMMA. Such nasal consonants not only use the nasal cavity as a resonance chamber, but let the entire airstream escape through it. To distinguish the notation of nasalized vowels from oral vowels, we add a diacritic to the vowel, the so-called tilde. Well-known languages that use nasalized vowels are French and Polish. Here is Magdalena from Poland with four examples from her mother tongue. Krok, krong, krete, kręty.